It finally happened. The Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 4 trailer came out! Are you ready to peel apart the foreshadowings given to us by this trailer? The Meatly, gotta hand it to you, I am emotionally invested in the month of April. Chapter 3 left us with Alice Angel. You may recall Ryan's video speculating that Alice was Susie turned into Ink because she wanted to be Alice Angel so badly. Joey Drew, the studio's owner, originally hired Susie for the voice of Alice. They even had a flirty exchange over lunch where Joey charmed Susie, but then later replaced Susie with a different girl named Allison. So Ryan's ramblings went. But is it all true? And what more details can we find from this cinematic trailer? And of course, let's not forget about those teaser images and that November teaser video. What is the Meatly trying to hint at? Well, for starters, Alice Angel is clearly going to be a huge part of the story for the foreseeable future. The trailer features her and shows the dramatic text, End the angel. If I didn't know any better, I'd say the main objective of chapter 4 is gonna be to go up against Alice Angel. She's gunning for the running of this place. That's a dumb way of saying she wants to run this place. Joey Drew Studios, which is currently owned by Joey Drew, of course. But the guy seems to have intertwined his being with the inky, globby demon we call Bendy. Thanks to this trailer and helpful comments from you guys, we've confirmed some of our thoughts on Bendy and had to rewrite others. So what is it that goes on between these splotchy, puddle run down creepy graffitied walls? To answer that, sit back, relax, and wait for Bendy to seep into your thoughts and nightmares. And let's not forget about Alice. Ah! So yeah, Alice is gonna be the featured villain against us, Henry, in this here next chapter. That much is for sure. And right at the beginning of the trailer, we hear Alice asking us, Did you lose something? while it shows us the studio's elevator destroyed. Alice broke the elevator! Recall that chapter 3 ended with us careening downward in the elevator only to have Boris snatched from us in the final moments. Boris, no! Henry even says, Hang in there, Boris. I'm coming. So already we know we're continuing directly after Chapter 3, and we're wasting no time saving Boris from the clutches of Alice. An important goal while we also try to end the Angel. We also see a member of the Butcher Gang in this scene, and all three members of the Butcher Gang walking toward some fire. Clearly these guys are still after us, likely serving Bendy, not Alice. Remember in Chapter 3 we saw Alice torturing the Butcher Gang member who jump scared us from behind the poster. Whether she was harvesting his organs or torturing him is is irrelevant. She has no love for these guys, and that means they don't serve her. And considering they tried to kill us, that means they probably serve Bendy. Whereas Boris is on our side. And everybody loves Boris. Especially Alice, who prints him in large quantities to farm his organs. Alright, I would call that using Boris, uh, not, not so much love. She's lovely! She's quite a gal, even! Next, we get a brief clip of Henry climbing through a ventilation shaft with Bendy peering at us from the other side. Clearly not just Alice is watching us in this next chapter. And look at this! We'll be making our way through a creepy amusement park ride inside of the studio. Did Bendy build this, or did Alice? Keep in mind that in this shot, and in the shot right before it, we see a butchered butcher gang member. Not to mention in the previous shot, we see this cart thing on the shelf. The same cart we see in the very next roller coaster clip. Seeing these two right next to each other leads me to believe this guy was interfering with Alice's elaborate amusement park plans and so she felt the urge to butcher him and this other guy. Therefore, this is Alice's amusement park. With eyes watching and all! Also, in this scene with Alice walking down the hallway, we see all kinds of machines moving behind her. Likely the behind-the-scenes workings of her amusement park. Man, I cannot wait for this. And, besides the end of the angel text, the hang in there I'm coming for you Boris quote I already mentioned, and the April release date, that's about all I could grab from the trailer. On to the teaser images! First, we have this one, which leads me to believe Sammy's Bendy worshipping cult might make an appearance. This is huge because it could really expand on the plot from Chapter 1, with Sammy bowing down to his Bendy overlord, only to have something terrible happen to him, as you'll recall. And the next image we have is this. Now we can see no angels. He will set us free. Now there's little doubt in my mind that the Sammy Bendy cult will make an appearance and will fight Alice. Recall an earlier time we saw this text was right before we heard a Sammy recording. Did Sammy write this? And this? Also, this flashlight is the one from the clip in the vent with Bendy looking at us from the other side. 
So maybe Bendy wrote it. Then in the other one we have See You Soon written by Alice, with a decapitated Boris right there in the shot. This poor guy really can't catch a break. And that's about it for the images. On to the even teasier teaser trailer from November. There's not too much here, besides this juicy shot. We see Alice standing and looking proudly over a strange, misty room with cages hanging from the ceiling. Are these normally filled with ink creatures whose organs are to be harvested? I ask this because right friggin' there is a giant hand! Recall in Ryan's last video, he speculated that Alice would be building an army. This is certainly possible, but we've heard by Alice's own admission that she's collecting inky insides to make herself more perfect. Perhaps she's not building an army or beautifying herself with all those ink hearts so much as building a giant unstoppable monster. A giant beautiful version of herself. Bendy already has his minions, so maybe Alice is bringing her big guns. Wouldn't that be insane? And entirely possible, just saying. That's what I've got for all the teaser material. Now let's get into what we may have missed last time. I'm talking important details here, people. Like, who is Alice Angel really? Last time we speculated she's Susie's personality mixed in with the collective swirling miserable thoughts of the whole studio. Not to mention, Susie seems to be overcoming some psychological trauma that involved getting wined and dined, then replaced by some beyond named Allison. However, five months ago, an insightful comment by Madison Seyfried made me update my thinking about who Alice Angel is exactly. In Madison's own words, I'd like to add that Alice Angel might not be just Susie and the other voices. One of those voices might just include Allison as well. Notice how Alice's voice fluctuates between evil Susie and the voice of a completely different woman. It's the same voice that tells us, It's a very likely possibility that Allison is the other woman. They both lent their voices to the character, after all. But with Susie being the stronger of the two, she's the one calling the shots, and poor Allison is just along for the ride. The comment goes on, but we'll focus on this first part for the sake of time. Regardless, well said, Madison. May I just say your guys' comments on our recent Bendy videos have been beyond helpful? This really is the magic of the internet, me being able to interact with you and vice versa. The tree Basical hive mind is the best way to concoct ideas that connect the dots. The inky dots. Speaking of which, as soon as we're able, Ryan and I are gonna be streaming Bendy Chapter 4, exploring every nook and cranny, every corridor, every thwackable enemy. Become a part of our artistic process every weekday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Twitch.tv slash treesicle is where you can find it. And if you're gonna be checking that out anyway, you should enter our giveaway to win a sweet blue mic Alola headset or Yeti microphone. The link to win is in the description, and you enter by following us on Twitch and get additional entries by checking out our other social media stuff. Not to mention, in our streams Monday through Friday at 3pm, we'll be posting links where we'll be giving away a few more headsets and microphones. So come hang out, and maybe even win some free stuff. But yeah, twitch.tv slash treesicle, your chance to win free stuff, and we'll be streaming Bendy Chapter 4 as soon as it comes out. What's not to love? Back to it, I, I guess. I'm pretty much done with this video. To summarize, expect some spooky shenanigans in Alice's mediocre yet probably cruel amusement park. Not to mention, Sammy's cult might make a return. Also, our main objectives will be to kill Alice and save Boris, and of course, all of this will take place directly after the end of Chapter 3. No time has passed at all. And we can't forget that giant hand from that older teaser. Alice is building a giant! An abomination! A perfect version of herself? Hmm, probably. I'm Grant, and I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. Once again, check out twitch.tv slash treesicle to take in Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 4 and all the juiciest proto-theories we come up with as we play through the game. Remember, when I say we, I mean you and me. And, and Ryan. Help us find those hidden clues, if you don't mind. I, I don't want to tell you what to do. I'm not that kind of guy. That's all I got for today. I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone!